Howdy. Well, this is going to be an introduction into After Effects to kind of a, a brief refresher for some of you. And uh, I've gone ahead and opened up After Effects, and I'll assume you know how to do that. If not, if perhaps you had launched After Effects in the project window you're seeing here, it does not appear. You could simply go to File, New, New Project, and you'll be left with these interlocking windows. So, just a quick recap here that uh, if you were to click on these interlocking windows, you'll notice that the one you've selected has got a, a blue line around it. And we'll find as we move through our tutorial that uh, when we right click on a particular window that is selected, there are other menus and features that we have available to us. And we'll address those as we go. All right, so for now, let's, let's kind of jump in and get started here. Okay, so I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Import File. Now, I'm going to my desktop, and I've already uh, put a folder in my, on my hard drive uh, called After Effects Tutorial. And uh, what I've done is I've broken down the content into respective folders. It's just a nice way to organize yourself. So you'll see I have a folder named Audio, one named Photos. If I had Video, I'd have one named according to that as well. So I've got a couple of options. If I chose to, I could select one image and bring that in separately. Or if I wanted to, I could go back to File Import or hit Command-I. Same difference. And now if I wanted to, I could bring the entire folder of content in, which I will do now. So go ahead and I'll open that. Now, um, you're going to notice too, as you click on the content, a picture or a file in your project window, the thumbnail updates it so you can kind of see what that image looks like to a certain degree. Let's bring the audio in while we're at it so that we're kind of comfortable with the whole import function. So I'll go to File, Import, File. And once again, I could go to that audio folder and take just the one audio file out, or I could take the entire folder. I'm going to take the folder so that if I import any more other audio files, I've already got a folder to put it into. All right, now that we've got our content in our project window, uh, we need to make a comp or define the aspect ratio and size of our movie. So I'm going to go to the top of the interface, Composition, New Composition, and I'm going to choose just this tutorial web video 320 by 240 and I want the frame range to be 30 frames per second. Uh, and then I'm going to set the time for, oh, maybe I'll set the time for a minute, which would be one and four zeros. And I'll hit return. And now I'm ready to start putting content into my timeline and my comp window. All right, so there are a couple of ways to do that. I'm going to go over to my project tab. And I'm going to grab chair pen dot jpg and I'll drag it into my screen like so. That's one way to get that into the comp window. Now the other way is I can take that and I can drag it down into the timeline itself. That's another way to get that into my comp window. So either way is really up to you. Um, it's your preference, but just be aware of that. Okay, so. I've made a couple of changes here, so I've, I've introduced my content, I've defined my, my window or my comp uh, aspect ratio, and it's really a good idea at this point to save what we've done. So I'll go to File, and I'll go to Save As, and this is a really important point. I'm going to navigate to my folder. After Effects Tutorials, I'll double click to get into it. It's very important that you direct the saved AEP file to the folder with the contents. I'm going to give it a name. Call it uh, A-E-T-U-T-O-R-I-A-L-M-O-V-I-E. And I'm going to hit save. 